as you can see, it's still pretty early this morning. Just getting out on the water. First fish of the day. Love catching these big black crappie. So we made a trip down south. We're targeting some uh, black crappie this morning. We've already caught a couple fish this morning. As you can see, it's still pretty early. And uh, we got we got a chaser right here. Hang on. Uh, he wasn't interested, but uh, it's still real early. We've caught several fish already this morning. We're sitting on a good school of them. We're in 12 foot of water. The fish are, are wanting to spawn. Um, you know, it's the first, first week of March. These fish in the southern states, uh, they tend to spawn earlier than fish up north. So we wanted to get in on some early spawning action. So we, we made a trip down and right now it's paying off good for us. We've already caught a couple this morning and uh, looking forward to, to catching quite a few more and hopefully we'll get some, some pretty big fish this morning. Hmm. Next year's fish. Next year's fish. Next year's fish here. Yeah. Somewhere else that'd be a whopper. There he is. So a lot of times in the spring, when you catch, find a school of fish, all of them are about the same size. Now that's not a bad fish, but we're looking for some a little bigger than that. But you know, these fish are coming in waves. They're coming in the shallows and waves. And so you don't find a whole lot of real big fish schooled up with a lot of real little fish. You know, if you catch one or two fish out of school, that's generally the same, you know, the size of the fish are gonna be in that school. So we've caught one out of there. It was a nice fish, but really not what we're looking for. We're just gonna abandon that school, go find another school, see if we can find a little better quality size fish. You know, the magic temperature for spawning fish is, you know, 64, 65 degrees. The males will push in, prepare a bed or a nest, as some people like to say. The females will come in, lay their eggs. The males will spray and fertilize the eggs and kind of guard the nest and also guard the fry when they hatch. And they'll be in the shallows for, you know, a couple of weeks, two or three weeks before they start migrating back out towards deeper water. And, and then, you know, and what a lot of people don't understand, all the fish don't go spawn at the same time. Uh, these fish come in waves. You know, there's still fish out in 20, 25 foot of water over, you know, over structure in, in deeper water. And there's also fish in five and six foot of water right now. So every fish doesn't spawn at the exact same time. And a lot, and that's a misconception a lot of people have when, when you know, a wave of fish comes in and, and you're just killing them, you know, in the backs of these creeks, you know, people will say, they may, you may come two days later and not catch anything. People say, well, they caught them all. No, they didn't catch them all. The fish just pulled back out and there'll be another wave come in, you know, at some point in time. Right there at the top of the water. Right there at the top of the water. I was about to say, you are gonna run out of real estate. Look at this freaking monster. So, Holy. That's a big female. See the, you can see the egg sac in her. She's real red on her bottom. Just big, beautiful, black crappy. Right. There he is. Mm -hmm. Little small fish. Now how can you tell that that's a black crappie versus a white crappie? So a black crappie is, uh, you know, this is just a little small one here. But a, oh, see the blackness, how he's speckled? A white crappie has vertical lines running this way. And a, I'm not sure exactly sure which one is which, but one has seven dorsal fins and one has eight. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a black crappie has seven dorsal spines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And a white crappie has eight. And now, sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, because if, especially in muddy water, real dirty water, the, a lot of people, this fish would, wouldn't have hardly any speckles on him at all. People get it confused as a white crappie, but it would really be a black crappie, but he's real speckled, speckled up, does not have any vertical bars on his body, and he has seven dorsal uh, spines. There he is. Just like that. 
Ooh, that looks like a good fish. fish. Really good fish. Ooh, ooh. Boy, oh, these fish. Oh, that's a big fat female. Look at this. Oh my Look at gosh. this guy belly on this fish. Oh my. Get this out of the way. So let me show you this. Look how big that fish is right there. And that fish right there, that's a big female. You can see the big, huge knot in her belly. I mean, just a big one. I'm casting or pitching, just kind of underhand tossing to these fish. Seven foot Jenko Hypersense, medium light action rod. It's got a fast tip. I like a seven foot rod. I also use a six foot rod a lot. Uh, but this one here is a seven foot. Got it uh, paired up with a with K9 fishing line six pound fluorocarbon. This is uh, you know in the high vis. That's just personal preference. I've got a ton of confidence in this line. As you'll see in some of the videos, I'm just lifting up two two and a quarter pound fish, just swinging them in the boat, not netting them. Uh, the jig we're using today is just a little small hair jig with a fireball, and as you can see, that fireball has been used a lot. Sometimes in the water. If you don't catch a fish fairly quickly on them, they'll swell up a little bit, and that one's a little bit bigger than what it is when it comes out of the jar. But uh, very simple technique, but yet an effective technique. There he is. Hello, nice fish. Just a nice fish, beautiful fish. All right, so this is a male. You know, we just caught that really big female, and this is a male. Oh. Good. As you can see, his fins are real black. He's, he's a darker color. Even down in here, he's dark. Has no belly whatsoever. Just a big framed, black crappy male, really dark ear. This fish in another week will be almost jet black. I mean, you can see now he's turning, he's a lot darker color than the uh, big female. Got that one though. And look at that. That oh. fish literally, regardless of size, that fish ate inches from the trolling motor. And that's just a little small male. He's going home. Yep, going back now. Got him. Another good fish. Yep. <laughs> Big old female boy. Look at the belly on her. And, the, and folks, these fish, black crappie, don't uh, tend to get as long as a white crappie, but what they make for make up for in, uh, in length is girth. I mean, these fish are footballs. No matter where you live in the United States and, and really in Eastern Canada, black crappie are available. There's white crappie and black crappie. And they say that Black crappie originally are from the southeast, basically from Virginia down to Florida, and then across the Gulf of Mexico. However, if you read documents online with Fish and Wildlife Service and other biologist reports, it says that the continental 48 United States and half of eastern Canada have black crappie. Now, we came down south today to look after some quality black crappie. And boy, did we have one heck of a morning. Now, this whole episode was filmed in less than two hours. And you'll see what a beautiful lake, a lake that it, just a fishery that flourishes and produces some incredible black crappie. You'll see Scott talks about which ones are males, which ones are females, how they have different colorations. I mean, we had a phenomenal day here in a short period of time. Our goal was to come out here and get some big blacks, and they were beautiful, beautiful blacks. They also call them specks, depending on where you live in certain parts of the country. But all of our fish today came on small jigs. He didn't use anything fancy. As a matter of fact, this is like a homemade jig company. And all we did was tip them with pink shad crappie fireballs. We also tipped those jigs in shad fire gel. Now, Scott does that in the morning, and he thinks it works the rest of the day. Sure enough, he smelled his jig halfway through the day, and he can still smell the shad. So using those two techniques, we did very well. As a matter of fact, in this particular lake we're fishing today, we had many boats come up and talk to us. They said, hey, you guys seem to be being successful. We're here in the same area. We also have live scope, and we can't catch them. It might have been the scent. We don't know that. We're not fish. But you know what? We're going to put our money on that it helped a lot. They get out there and find a, lake, a great lake near you that has black crappie and you'll have a great time in the water just like we did.
Podsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Podsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Podsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.